Hey UMass fans, welcome to this edition of One More Minute. I'm Kevin Moore and today we're getting inside the kitchen of sophomore defenseman Mike Donnellan. Let's see what really makes him cook. Alright guys, we got a little two meal spread here. Um, I got a little salad, it's called my super salad. Then I got a nice breakfast burrito, you know, I want to hit every meal, but you know, I, I figured we'd just do a little breakfast thing. And, you know, salads are obviously very important to eat your vegetables and stuff like that, so good for that. Pretty healthy, looking forward to, uh, to tasting this food when it's ready. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the uh, breakfast burrito here. It takes a little longer to make, so while I'm whipping this up and it's cooking, we can work on the salad. But anyways, to start with the burrito, um, we got our, our pepper and our onion here, pretty basic. Got to prep these guys. So uh, guys do it different ways. I like to uh, just cut the stem right out of the right out of the middle here, like that. Make a little circle around it there, and then it just pops right out. Slice it up a few times. Um, obviously, watch out for the fingers. Um, you know, you just basically get it here like this. Shab it up a few times. So then uh, I'll probably like to go a little thinner than that, but for time's sake, we'll just keep it like that for now. Got your onion right here. Onion's pretty basic, just, you know, some guys for safety purposes might want to wear some eyewear for this, because um, we do get some criers sometimes. No crying in hockey um, though, right? No crying in hockey. Most of the time, you don't want to, you don't want to cry that much. So, got the onion here. Um, same deal, you know, I don't, some people like the skin, you know, but I don't, I don't really like the skin that much. So I take it off, dispose of that properly, uh, and then we just, you know, same deal, same deal, just slice it, dice it, you know, just get in there, just get all these, get these guys nice and small so you can get the flavor out of this guy, you know. Come over here, we got the, uh, the stove over here, got a little olive oil, I like to cook with some olive oil, I'm going to toss a little in there, um, get these, uh, get these veggies going, get those going, Got my onions here. Get my onions going. And uh, yeah, let me get those going a little bit. This right here is a little special something I like to put in my stuff here. It's Old Bay seasoning. Let's bring that, bring that up to the camera for the fans here. Got a little Old Bay here. Um, born in, uh, born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. Big crab, crab country down there. This stuff is used like all the time down there, so that's one of my uh, favorite uh, things to use. So Mike's chopping up the uh, sausage here for the breakfast burritos. You don't want to choke on these, Kevin. You know, it's always safety first in the kitchen, especially when you're eating. It's you know, most important thing is that you, you know, at the end of the day, you're safe and healthy, and you know, so we like to get them in small pieces. Sausage here. These uh, the peppers and onions have been going for a while, so uh, we're going to add these to the mix here. These guys in there. And... You got the Old Bay in there, a little taste yep. of home. You grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, I did. Why don't you, uh, you talk about your experiences growing up uh, sort of south of here. You know, not necessarily a hockey hotbed, but, you know... You found a way to excel. Why don't you talk about Maryland a little bit? Um, yeah, you know, it was a great, it was a great place to grow up. I grew up in uh, Northeast Baltimore. Um, you know, a few minutes from downtown, right in the right in the thickest stuff in the city. Um, it was, uh, you know, it was really cool. I played for the Baltimore Stars growing up, a youth hockey program out of uh, Baltimore, and um, yeah, you know, it's, it really is, is a bigger, much bigger lacrosse area down there. Um, so that was kind of the the main the main sport going on down there, but, you know, I was able to find some, uh, you know, there's actually a lot of good players down there, especially now that are starting to come up, um, so, yeah. What I'm doing now is I am, uh, I just made our, got our eggs going here. Um, I used egg whites, uh, but I put one egg in, one regular egg, just to get, uh, you know, just get a little, little fat in there, the yolk, don't want to miss all that stuff, but. The egg whites are less and you know lower in fat. There's always a focus when you're in the kitchen as well, keeping it healthy here. So alright. This stuff's still going here. I'm gonna have to crank up the heat. This salad, obviously, you would not eat this salad with the burrito, but 
This salad is a great compliment to any lunch or dinner. Kevin, I mean that. Any lunch or any dinner. And it's very easy to make. Starting off, we've got our bowl here, okay? Just a nice salad bowl. We got mixed greens in here. We got lettuce, uh, just some romaine, got some spinach in here. Um, you know, we're going to add some strawberries to the mix, um, blueberries, walnuts, and uh, this dressing right here, which is really good stuff. Um, this poppy seed dressing, which is uh, it's very good, very sweet. Now, Mike, you, uh, you went to high school in Vermont. Yep. Uh, Vermont Academy. Yes. Your father's a teacher there. Yes, he is. Uh, you have two siblings. Why don't you uh, tell us a little about your family? Tell us a little bit about the transition uh, when you went up to Vermont, all that. Yep. So I grew up in Baltimore. Uh, I lived there with my uh, mom and dad and my younger brother and older sister. Um, we moved up here in 2003, which luckily for me was uh, I just finished eighth grade and it was we actually got to Vermont like, middle of August. Uh, before my freshman year of uh, high school, and, and my dad's a teacher, and um, decided to teach at uh, Vermont Academy, which is a boarding school. So um, the transition was really easy for me, so uh, moving up to Vermont. But anyways, since then, my family's lived in Vermont, which is a pretty huge change from uh, you know Baltimore City, um, obviously. But it's been good. You know, our family was just you know city life's crazy, and a lot of the times you don't get to spend as much time with your family as you'd like. So Vermont really slowed our slow our lives down so we can spend more time together. So we're here, we got the uh, we got the sausage, got the peppers and onions, the spices. Mike here and, uh, whipping it up. This is uh this is what we started with a little while ago. It's only it's been about three minutes. Looks like this stuff's about ready to go so we're gonna throw the eggs in and then we'll get back to the salad here. So over to the eggs. Uh, that's right, we already have them right here. So we just uh like I said we got some egg whites here and we just whipped up a regular egg. You know, just throw it right in there, and uh, now you know we're gonna put it on medium low heat. Basically, we're just gonna scramble them from this point. So, and uh, we're gonna put these strawberries on top here. Pretty good. Some blueberries too. So we got some there. fresh blueberries. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much good to go. So your final product is you got your. You know, you got your bed of salad, you got your bed of lettuce and, and spinach. You got your blueberries, strawberries, walnuts. Um, and you got your, you know, I got my uh, the salad stuff here, the salad that salad fix fixins with uh, you know my seeds and some sesame sticks and stuff like that. And then this dressing really, really tops it off. This this poppy seed is really sweet. Um, it's almost like a dessert salad. That's probably why I like eating it so much. But um, that stuff is, is really good. It hits a spot. And from here, we're going to turn our broiler on for the burritos. Um, show you why in a second. So we got our broiler going here. We got our trays in the right spots. Um, get our light on. And uh, yeah, so we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much almost good to go for these burritos here. So you got our. So then, in terms of serving it up, you got your plates for the burritos, right? And then we got these. These Joseph's, uh, these, these wraps here, really like them, you know, once again, low carb. Always something to watch out for, Kevin. One of my sayings to go by is, carbs are the enemy. And I, I know I did not come up with that phrase, but I do endorse it. So anyways, got our eggs. Eggs are coming along great. So Mike, now, you seem pretty talented in the kitchen. What, Where did you learn uh, this craft here? Um, I would have to say... In junior hockey, I, I was pretty much when I started really cooking a lot. Um, I didn't live with a billet family. I lived on my own with a couple guys from my team, and you know there was no place to eat, and I didn't really like ordering out and stuff like that. So I, I just always would you know cook at home, and it's a process, definitely a process. But so. So would you say uh, you improved over time? It was trial and error. I would I would definitely say it was trial and error. I would say you know there were definitely some signs I made. Had some gifts, but uh, you know, it really took a while for me to for me to get this, you know, get to where I am today. So, anyways, right, got some. Uh, so, anyways, we're just putting our eggs in here right now. Don't want to put too much in there, but uh, you know, you want to. Depends how. You know, some people like them really big. Some people not so much. Depends how hungry you are. So here now is when the cheese comes into play. Spending my time in, in Vermont, I learned a lot about cheese. 
Um, it's probably one of the you know, most important things I think I learned from living in Vermont. You played juniors in Vermont as well? Yes, in Burlington. My, my home, however, at Vermont Academy is in southern Vermont. And um, Vermont really loves their cheese up there. So I got some Cabot, some Vermont, Vermont company, some cheese, seriously sharp cheddar. Um, you know, I'm a big, big, uh, big taste guy. I just want to want to sharpen this up here. So just put a little on the inside, a little cheddar on the inside here like this. And then uh, we're going to wrap them up. So wrapping them is pretty basic. Just kind of pull it over like that. Grab it with your hands, tuck it in with your fingers, tuck the sides in, and just roll it. And then you got yourself a little burrito like that. Okay? And then we'll do the same thing with this guy. Kind of get it with your hands, and just roll it in like that. So it's very, very simple. A lot of people like different stuff on them. Oftentimes put salsa, um, sour cream. The crowd I'm serving tonight, which you'll meet in a few minutes here, um, aren't really big salsa or sour cream guys, so I'm just gonna serve them up with just cheese. So I got some other, got some different cheddar here, a little, uh, little orange sharp cheddar, and I like to put the orange on, you know, a little coloration on the top of my burrito, keep it, uh, keep it exciting. You know, anything you can do to have a good time while you're in here. So, um, and uh, yes, yeah, so we just throw them in here. It's the oven right here. We got the broiler on, and we're just gonna give them a few minutes. Tops, maybe a, maybe two minutes. Um, let that let that cheese uh, melt on there, get nice and crispy, and then uh, we're gonna serve these up. So, sharp cheddar. Mm. All right, so it looks like uh, you know I'm not a chemistry major, but it looks like the cheese has started to fuse into the burrito, which is what you want. Um, it's bubbling here, and it uh, it smells it smells pretty pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks does. good. Uh, you know, you put it with your salad. Salad's not necessarily a breakfast food, but we're just sort of showcasing Mike Donilon's cooking talents here. These are the men of UMass hockey, ladies and gentlemen. Hidden talents that you don't see out on the ice. So uh, we're gonna give these a test with uh, my two roommates, uh, Brian Kane and Sean Saunders. So uh, first, we'll give these burritos a shot here. Bring these guys over. And uh, these guys may act surprised like it's their first time, but this happens about, say, two to three times a day, me cooking for these guys. So, and then, here we go. And we'll get, we'll get, here, don't. All right, guys, we got the salads here, too. So, if you want to take a look at these puppies, they look pretty good right now. We got the dressing on there. Good um, presentation. So, we're uh, good to go. These are actually chilled salad plates, Kevin. It's, um, Straight from Mama McCain. Chalk it up. So, we're here with senior forwards, Sean Saunders, Brian Kane. They are Chef Donilon's roommates. We're here about to taste the food. Why don't you fellas dig in and we'll, uh, we'll let the fans know how it tastes. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited right now. Let's see what we got here. It's getting a little messy. I'm just going for it. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. It's definitely really good. Mm. Very good. Let me scoop some of that in here. Let's see. We'll get a, a one more taste minute taste. Alright, let's uh the strawberries really complement the well. For you fans at home, there's a great texture to this salad. The mixed greens mixed with the nuts and the berries, they really it's really just a, a flavor explosion in your mouth. Mike Donilon is every bit as good a chef as he says he is. It is not a myth. Alright. He's flexing. He's flexing, John. He's flexing, John. <laughs> yes, he is. I'm not flexing, John. Alright, Mike, well, thank you very much for sharing your wonderful food with us. Also, thanks to Brian Kane and Sean Saunders for tasting the food, letting the fans know how it is. Mike, this has been great. Thanks for letting us into your kitchen. Hey, anytime. And we here at One More Minute would like to give a special shout out to strength coach Chris Boyko. You're going to be missed, Boyks. We miss you. Do that, Boyks. Ooh. We miss you, Boyks. You're next, John. <laughs> Come to your house. <laughs> John's cooking his food next. Ah.